Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we are playing some more Doom Roguelite version 996G. I thought I'd just mix it up because I imagine some people want to see console and some people want to see graphics, so I will do a little of both. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what are we playing today? Today we are looking at yet another module. Uh, this one is probably a lot less well known, except for people who go on the forum and stuff. Um, and is a lot less, I don't know, maybe ambitious, but it is still a very useful and practical mod nonetheless. Uh, it's called Hell's Playground. It's made by a guy named Tiny Rodent. Uh, he comes and goes, but he's very good at what he does when it comes to kind of figuring everything out about the game. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, I've added a couple of things here and there to make it a little more... Um, well, just a little, to simplify things a little bit. Um, and whatever, just, you know, pick a tree. Whatever. We are, uh, yeah, just a dude. Da -da -da, intro, and now we're good. So, this place, oh, I also changed the music just so we would have some interesting music as we'd go along. This is, as a matter of fact, from Doom 2. It is map 7. And, um, yeah. So there you go. Dead simple. <laughs> Right, so this is um, the playground, and as you can see, we basically have access to every single item in the game. We also have this little fellow who, who levels us up if we want to. So There is literally, I mean, everything in the game here, other than I think uh, we might be missing... No, it doesn't look like we're missing any of the artifacts either. So those are just kind of sitting around. The dragon slayer is also here, uh, which is kind of fun. Not gonna go into that. If you want to check it out, you can check it out. But uh, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Whoa, check it out. Um, yeah. I mean, this is this is the first half anyway. Now, if we look at the second half, we got a bunch of levers, and these levers, I turned on lever sense so we can see all these. These actually spawn all of the enemies in the game. Uh, every single enemy, if I'm not mistaken. Are we? No. There's the apostle too. <laughs> So, you can spawn any enemy you want. I think some of them will kind of cause issues. So, you know, don't spawn massive amounts of bosses and stuff. Because you'll probably crash the game. Uh, that aside, though, you know, we can just kind of spawn a dude, like a sergeant, and he just shows up over here. Ta-da! So, this is basically the mod. Um... You know, we got some lava acid water going on here. Some of the different walls. I think this is an uh, ice wall. Yeah, we can, we can blow this apart. Woo! Yeah, man. Blowing away ice like it ain't nothing but a thing. Really, I don't, I don't, wouldn't expect shrapnel to destroy solid ice like that. You know, maybe if it was very porous ice, but I would assume these ice walls are very solid. A shotgun being able to annihilate them so easily is quite unrealistic. Then again, I am fighting a giant um, robotic spider who is basically just a brain with a face on it, and it shoots a chain shotgun at me, and is also perhaps eight times my size, and screams hideous things while it commands a giant army of the undead slash legions of hell to uh, take over the earth for some reason. Gotta say, there's, like, what what is the reason for them to take over the earth? Uh, that, that never really... Uh, you know, let's just do stuff. Okay, so I thought that I would take the time to discuss various builds. Somebody was asking me on YouTube, Hey dude, I don't understand these rapid builds and shotgun builds and builds of buildness. So... I thought I'd take some time to maybe talk about all the kinds of builds that there are. So let's just go ahead and grab some weapons, uh, combat, double chain plasma, uh, what else? What else? Uh, I guess a couple of bulks, um, maybe this, uh, is that, is that what I need? I don't remember what I need, oh boy. Anyway, so I guess the first thing we should look at is a pistol build. Pistol builds regarding 
stuff involves getting Son of a Gun. Son of a Gun makes it so that you fire a lot faster and you deal more damage with pistols and only pistols. Um, so therefore, if you're going to do a pistol build, this is your go-to trait. This can be increased three times, and at that point you're firing 0.4 uh, seconds per shot, and deal 2.4 2 d4 plus 3 damage, which is what, some spread of 5 to 11 or something like that. Yeah. Um, other things that go with that, obviously your your various um, master traits for pistols, such as, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get it a bunch of times. Um, bullet dance, you know, is going to be for, oh darn it, I did the stairs. Whoop. Okay, so um, anyway, back, and I thought I'd just kind of take the time to, to build things up properly. So now we can actually do things, you know, with a little bit of quickness. Anyway, as I was saying, um, son of a gun is your good trait here because already with pistols, I'm playing as a scout at the moment, but our fire speed goes down a lot, and we deal good amounts of damage. That 2d4 is going to be a plus 3. So if, for instance, we just go ahead and summon, let's say, a Cacodemon. So you're a Cacodemon, and I will kill you now. Two, three, four, five, well, almost six. Six kills, and he's already dead. You know, they, enemies can go down rather fast with, uh, oh, where, there you are. With a pistol at level three. Um, this is why getting, you know, Son of a Gun, t even level two, you know, you'll take out demons with within a full clip, and cacodemons a little more than one. Um, the other benefit of pistol builds is that you can get dual gunner, which in increases your fire time, fire speed a little bit, but it also gives you the opportunity to shoot two pistols. So you see, both of them has, have been fired at the same time. And then you can also dual reload by pressing Shift R. Now, if we fight like another cacodemon here, he should go down rather quickly. Okay, looks like I missed a little bit, but whatever. Whatever, we can try that again just to show it off again, I guess. Yeah, it looks like I'm missing a bit. They go down fairly fast, and considering that you're firing as fast as you are, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, uh, things that you can do with pistols, one thing is you can get a speed loader. Speed loaders are basically normal pistols, except you get a half reload time. This can be extremely useful as you're often reloading your pistols. Sometimes you have to in the middle of combat. Speed loader pistol makes it a lot easier to do so without having to worry about um, without having to worry about getting you know the reloader trait, which for some reason I can't show on the screen. <laughs> right. So um, that is the use of speed loaders. A lot of people like to get dual speed loaders. Um, because you can find two agility mods at the chain cord, and then you find a couple of tech mods, and you're good to go. Good to go. Um, the other pistol type you can make is called the energy pistol. Actually, there's a third one, and I'll get to that in just a moment. The energy pistol is a pistol that is, you know, just a slightly more powerful pistol, except it shoots plasma. It shoots plasma. It also requires cells in order to refill, so that's the downside of it but it can still be extremely useful to take out enemies like Lost Souls and Revenants that have bullet resistance. The final weapon that uh, we can look at with a pistol is called the Storm Pistol. Storm Pistol is basically a pistol whose damage has been spread out. Instead of 2d4 now we have 1d8 and it shoots two times. It also gets a little bit of an extra reload, uh, excuse me, <laughs> capacity boost. However, this is at the cost of accuracy. Instead of a plus four accuracy, we now have a plus two accuracy. So you might want to invest in, for instance, Eagle Eye in order to get the best use out of it. Um, however, we can see that with a Storm Pistol, we can be dealing a fair amount of, where is, there you are, a fair amount of damage. Really? It didn't work at all. And a fair amount of damage rather quickly. I mean, that's just with one attack, you know. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. Especially if you do deal, dual wielding storm pistols. So that's the that's the gist of it. Um, I really wish the traits were. Oh, it's it's lowercase t now, right? So you get dual gunner, which requires son of a gun too. And you can also look at the master traits. You got gun kata, which allows you to auto reload after killing something, and extremely fast uh, fire times. You know, I should probably just show it. We got that. So. Uh, yeah, firing in almost no time after a successful dodge, which is great when you have Dodge Master, because it lets you basically dodge everything that, that can be dodged. Um, you also have Shark Shooter, which is the single pistol build, requires Eagle Eye and Son of a Gun, and it automatically makes you deal max damage with your pistols, which makes something like the Storm Pistol extremely amazing. Um, and then you also have Bullet Dance, which allows you to shoot extra shots at the cost of an increased fire time. This lets you throw huge volleys at, at the opponent all at once, but it does cost you the ability to kind of react in between shots. Uh, overall, you are getting better DPS. Though. So that's it with, for pistols. L let me go ahead and talk about shotguns now. Alright, shotguns, and probably we should start with the basic shotgun. Shotgun is a weapon that um, basically has a spread to it. If you notice, I'm hitting all three right there when I when I attack, and it gets better as you get farther away. Uh, let's see if I can get farther. Ah, oh, man, I can't do that thing. With that. I guess I could get some light amp goggles and try to show it off. Let's try that. Light amplification goggles. And I'll get a bazillion of them so the duration lasts a good amount, I guess. So, yeah, there we go. So we get the seven up there, but it's only three right there and just one in the other spot. Uh, so shotguns, they, it, the damage is less depending on how far they, away the enemy is from you. So an enemy over here will take less damage than an enemy right next to you. However, shots go through perfectly, so you don't have to worry about um, enemies blocking other enemies. Uh, you'll also deal a significant amount of knockback due to the amount of damage that you're dealing in a single shot. Um, darn it, picking the wrong weapon. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. The combat shotgun allows you to shoot a lot further um, and deal more damage in a farther range. However, it does have a lot less of a spread, like if we just compare this to the regular shotgun. Um, the double... Right. Long check, and again, there we go. The double has an even larger spread, but of course, eventually stops hitting. Like, for instance, right here, it doesn't even hit um, halfway across the screen. It just kind of, eventually, the the damage drop-off becomes so low that, that it would become insignificant damage, and so it's just dropped to zero, and it's completely unaffected. Um, so you can deal, you can knock around enemies fairly well this way. Let's see if I can get someone that will be knocked around. There we go. Got you. All right. See, that guy's taking massive knockback, and he just killed himself. Ha <laughs> ha! By the way, I'm not taking damage because I made myself invincible just for the purpose of this sort of thing. So that's how shotguns mostly work. It usually involves you. Well, okay. The main traits of the shotgun build are reloader, which makes you reload faster and since a shotgun almost always has to be reloaded after every single attack um, this is very important the exception of course is the combat shotgun why a lot of people love it you can just fire then pump a shell by pressing reload this doesn't actually reload it but rather takes 0.2 seconds to reload the to allow you to fire again and then you can do that five times before you have to reload you can fully reload, or you can just reload one shell at a time. It's really a matter of whether or not you just are lazy or what. Um, double shotgun, of course, takes forever to reload. Two whole seconds, because it's two whole shells. But, um, reloader helps with that. So, the other one, and probably far more important for shotgun and, and double shotgun users, is shoddy man. And that means that every time you strafe, any time you move at all, uh, you automatically reload your weapon. Uh, somewhat of an exception here is the combat shotgun. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess you pump. You still pump a shell. It's not a full reload. With the double shotgun, it would be a full reload. So that's always really nice with, with the shoddy man double shotgun combination. Um, so there's that. The three assemblies that you can make. The first one is 
using a normal shotgun, you can make the elephant gun. The elephant gun packs a punch. It is 12d3 damage. That's pretty enormous. And um, it can deal a lot of damage really quickly. Uh, the problem, of course, is that you have this enormous reload time, and that's why Shoddy Man is even more important on such a weapon. Uh, the next one that we're looking at, and a lot of people swear by it, is the tactical shotgun. This is a weapon that doesn't require the pumping of a combat shotgun, but otherwise has all the benefits of a normal one. It also gets a, a small power boost, just because that's part of the mods that, that use it. Um, this one is amazing, because you don't even have to pump your weapon, you can just immediately knock back enemies really fast, and reload when you need to. In fact, let's, let's uh, show that in action. Why not? Yes. Let's try to get an action shot going on. Oh, got smacked. You can just go bam bam. Just do a little double shot, you know. Reload a bit, strafe a bit, and you're good to go. I got hit a little bit, but that's because I was, wasn't was running. And If you're running, you still don't lose any accuracy on your shotgun, so you're still plenty fine. Uh, the final weapon, of course, is the Focus Double Shotgun. This one's a little harder to build, but it really improves the Double Shotgun. Um, it changes its damage from 93 to 84, which gives you more of a spread. It's not quite as amazing as it used to be when it was, like, 94, or back when the Double Shotgun was normally 83x2. Um, no, the benefit of the Focus Double Shotgun is that it allows you the power of a Double Shotgun while still the normal uh, normal shotgun spread. If we look here, we got the spread, rather large spread, but with the Focus Double Shotgun, it's actually a lot closer. Which is very cool. Um, usually the, the Double Shotgun's large spread makes it very difficult to use because you have to actually get close to the enemy to deal any real damage. Uh, this is you know, alleviated by the Focus Double Shotgun's focused attack. Um, and it really lets you hammer in on an opponent. Let's, let's actually bring that into action. Let me get some shoddy man going. One, two, three dead. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. That's how shoddy builds work. Mostly, uh, a lot of what shoddy builds do is kind of sit around corners and, and shoot enemies a lot. This is called corner shooting, and it's a very effective strategy because it requires almost no um, risk to you. Uh, the worst is that normally, if you were using a non-shotgun weapon, you would be missing a lot, but when you have 100% accuracy, it's not much of an issue. So, that's how that works out. Let's go ahead and take a look at rapid fire builds next. Alright then, so, looking at rapid fire weapons. Rapid fire weapons are rapid fire because they shoot large amounts of shots very quickly. Um, or rather, all at once. So the chain gun is the typical one that you first find, deals damage uh, rather quickly, 1d6 times 4, and shoots, has a good old capacity so you don't have to reload often, and you can take out enemies rather, well, rather quickly once you invest a couple of traits. The big traits for rapid fire builds are Son of a Bitch, which allows you to increase your damage for any weapon. It's especially useful for rapid fire weapons because it in increases every shot. And when you're shooting as many shots as you are, um, every piece of damage counts. The other boost that you'll probably need is Eagle Eye, which increases your accuracy by, by some extra amount. Uh, this is important for rapid fire weapons because they have rather low accuracy. A plus two doesn't really get you all that far. Um, this is current to it chance, including the fact that I have a point in Eagle Eye, which is at 91%. This will actually drop to roughly 70% uh, at your very peak of at the very peak of your vision. So if you want, you can get two points in Eagle Eye. I usually stick with one and three points in Son of a Bitch. That's what I swear to, but, you know, you can go two and two, or, you know, just level up, you know, two and three. Usually I stop at this point to get things like Finesse and Hellrunner, so do whatever you want. Uh, it depends on how, what kind of distances you're fighting at in the first place. So, like, let's say that we have our good build right now and we want to take out an enemy. A Kakadu. Simple old Cacodemon, we got our points, these guys go down rather quickly. Um, the other main rapid fire weapon is the plasma rifle. Or 
plasma rifle is basically a chain gun on crack. It shoots cells instead of bullets, so there's better armor uh, penetration. It also shoots more times and has a little bit more damage. I mean, it's all around, it's just better. The, the downside, of course, is that it does have to use cells, and it uses them rather fast, so you need to hoard up on a lot of cells if you're planning on using them. If you'll notice, it also, you don't get to hold as many cells as you do bullet ammunition. So that can be a problem. But let's take the same Cacodemon, for instance, and uh, see how quickly the plasma rifle makes short work of him. I only took two volleys, probably only needed half of the second one. Um, the third trait that you can invest with invest in regarding rapid fire weapons is trigger happy which allows you to shoot even more times than before usually I don't bother with this because I like to conserve my ammo but if you have the master trait ammo chain that makes it so that every single volley only costs one shot cost um, usually that's just one so trigger happy doesn't change your ammo consumption whatsoever if you have it as a matter of fact ammo chain requires that you have trigger happy at level two so um, there you go. But uh, there are quite a few varieties of, of rapid fire weapons. Uh, the first is the poor man's, uh, excuse me, the poor man's plasma rifle, also known as the Gatling gun, or officially known as that. It deals the same sorts of damage that the plasma gun deals, or plasma rifle, except it uses bullets and therefore it doesn't have the same armor penetration. Uh, this can be really useful to just keep around if you don't have a lot of cells, but you would like to kind of still deal good amounts of damage. Um, the next one that we can look at is the Hyper Blaster. This is the Plasma Rifle specific assembly, and it basically sacrifices... Well, you know, it's just an all-around better weapon, I would say. Um, it shoots a lot faster, 0.5 seconds as opposed to the normal 0.1 has a little bit of extra accuracy um, and while it shoots fewer times it's basically made up by the halved fire time and then it deals a slightly more amount of damage it's uh, 2d4 instead of 1d7 so you know, 2 to 8 instead of 1d7 it's basically like adding one one dot but uh, it's an all-around very good weapon it's great for, for keeping your ammo well conserved uh, it also works well with trigger happy in case you want to shoot a lot of them at once now there are two rapid fire based assemblies that go with either the chain gun or the plasma rifle. Uh, the first one is the assault type weapon. Uh, basically it gives you an increase in accuracy. It also increases the damage you deal slightly. Um, it increases this value by one and this decreases that by one. It halves the amount of shots you take so you're still dealing a little bit of extra DPS. However, the shots do still cost the same amount. So instead of you know one shot cost, you have two shot costs. So even though you're only shooting two bullets, you're still taking it still takes four ammo when you shoot. Um, the reason for this weapon is mostly uh, two reasons. Uh, one is that trigger happy works with it, so you can get really huge amounts of damage, even though it'll increase shot cost a fair amount. Um, the other change is that you're going to be dealing knockback some amount <laughs> when you use it. Normally with rapid fire weapons you're not dealing knockback at all, but with this weapon you can, and sometimes that's useful. Especially if you're dealing few shots so that few of them don't end up missing their target. Um, and the same is also true of the burst plasma rifle. Excuse me, wrong weapon! Huh. The assault plasma rifle is a 2d6 and it um, knocks back enemies rather easily, I might say. Uh, let's see, whatever. Well, not too easily, but, uh, well, let's take a look. Where, there you go. Wow, those guys are, are pretty crazy. But, uh, yeah, you can knock back enemies fairly well with it, if you want. So there's that. Uh, the other type is the burst weapon. Burst weapon shoots a lot faster, has a better capacity for, um, you know, holding ammunition. And it deals extra damage. The downside is that you lose some accuracy, and it has a rather horrendous reload time. So you have to be careful about reloading it. Accuracy can usually be fixed by Eagle Eye, so that's always you know something that's quite doable uh, in case you're planning on using burst weapons. The same is true of the burst plasma rifle, which deals rather large amounts of damage, uh, again at the cost of accuracy. Yes. So 
My personal favorites for those assault and burst, since it works with any common or exotic weapon, is um, is having a where is it? The burst laser rifle, which since it has an enormous accuracy to begin with, doesn't have much uh, of an issue when it comes to you know firing fast. So you can a burst laser rifle is amazing. Let's um, let's compare it against a nightmare arch vial, which I'm sure almost none of you have ever seen. So here we go. He's just knocking that guy right out of the ballpark there. Uh, Nightmare Arch Files have about... Oh, what is it? Probably around 200 HP. And uh, we just took out that thing in five volleys. So that's pretty nice. Especially considering I don't really have perfect traits for this. And Nightmare Arch Files, you probably have five and three and bazillions and other things. So, yeah. Um, and then the other bonus thing that I would probably go with Assault is the minigun because it increases accuracy and it also makes the best use of that uh, increased you know, change. So It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Also the huge capacity is quite nice too. Quite nice. Anyway, uh, that's mostly rapid fire builds in the nutshell. I guess that's pretty much it in terms of builds. I guess there's the melee build, but Melee build should be rather obvious. Um, you get Brute, which increases your melee stuff. And then after getting Brute, you just get Berserker, which makes you a Berserkerholic. And, I mean, we can discuss that in a different video, maybe when I do a melee run. But uh, as far as weapons go, you get the Combat Knife first, which is going to deal, you know, a little bit of damage. And then you get the Chainsaw, and the Chainsaw is amazing when you're Berserked. And then after you're done with that, maybe you'll pick up something like um, Longinus Spear, which is just absolute godlike damage. And it looks like a little trident thing, which is pretty amazing. And, you know, with this we could probably take out the spider she-devil herself. Foosh. Yes. In fact, let's foosh that again. Foosh. Skaboosh. Vamoose. Yay! Nice and dead. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. I think that's all I really wanted to discuss. And hopefully I didn't bore too much of you to death. Um, so, yeah, that's that's really about it. I guess if you have more questions, let me know. I could make another follow-up type video, and I'll try to be better about it. Um, you know, not take as much time doing things. So anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing Doom the Roguelike in Hell's Playground. And join me next time when we do something else in Doom the Roguelike that I have yet to actually figure out. <laughs> Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.